In order to use some NeoVim plugins, we need to install Node.js, so we proceed to install it. I recommend you to use the LTS version of Node.js, but in my case I will install the most recent version, just to test if it works. We also need to install npm. I use a plugin called emmetls that requires this package, so I'm going to install it. My personal configuration is in this repository, it's very disorganized at the moment, feel free to use it if you want. The last step is to install Neovim. The version that is in the official repositories does not work for us. Recently version 9.0 has been released, so we are going to compile and install this version. If we go to the documentation, we will find the necessary dependencies to compile it. We go to the Building Neovim section and proceed to install the dependencies first. Fortunately, they are very few and several of them are already installed. We proceed to clone the repository. In my case, I am going to install the stable version, so I am going to clone the stable branch. Use the flag depth equals 1 to make the download faster, otherwise it will take longer to download, as it happened to me. Once this is done, we proceed to compile. I am using a very old computer and even so it only took me 3 minutes to compile Neovim. Once Neovim is compiled, we proceed to install the package. We reload or open a new terminal and run Neovim. The first time we run Neovim it will install all the plugins, we wait for them to install. Once they are installed, we restart Neovim. And that's it, we have Neovim installed and configured. If you want more information about my configuration, you can watch this video, where I explain all the important plugins. In case you are new to Neovim, I recommend you to watch this video, where one of the Neovim developers gives you a brief introduction. In the next video, we will finish installing a dark GTK theme.